Black Californians are less than 6% of the state's population, but they make almost 20% of those injured or killed by police. The racial disparities are not new, but how researchers gained this access to data is. BNC correspondent Ansar Hassan has more. New transparency laws here in California give researchers and policymakers access to sources that they didn't have before. Experts say that gives them a better understanding of what's happening on the ground, which in turn can lead to stronger laws. Stop kicking, Maria. Stop, stop kicking. This video from this past April shows Alameda police officers pinning 26-year-old Mario Gonzalez face down on the ground. One officer has his arm and knee on Gonzalez's back. Think we can roll him on the side? Uh, I don't want to lose what I got, man. Okay. Five minutes later, Mario Gonzalez was dead. According to data from a new report from the Public Policy Institute of California, he's one of almost 200 people who die in police custody each year in California. A disproportionate number are people of color. About four in 10 of non-fatal serious gunshot injuries involve a behavioral health condition. Deepak Prem Kumar is one of the lead authors of the report. The report states that people of color, black people in particular, are disproportionately represented at various points in the criminal justice system, including in interactions with law enforcement. Among the findings, black Californians are less than 6% of the state's population, but they're three times more likely to be seriously injured, shot, or killed by police relative to the share of the population. That means black people account for nearly 20% of serious injuries and fatalities at the hands of police. Prem Kumar says new transparency laws in California is giving researchers access to this new data. The reforms that happened in 2015, they're just now providing enough data for us to like an, analyze a handful of years. The report is clear to point out that most use of force incidents are not considered police misconduct and that a number of fatalities occur during an encounter when police happen to be in high-risk environments. But with more transparency, there can be more accountability, says Professor Greg Woods. In S Senate Bill 1421, we now have access to what otherwise would be private personnel files from these individual police officers who might have been disciplined. Professor Woods says the new data will provide better insight into law enforcement, which in turn helps policymakers craft stronger legislation for better community policing. Now we have an opportunity to reinvent policing in a way that is consistent with the traditional interpretation of community-oriented policing. As federal police reform bills are at an impasse, many experts say it will be up to states to push for change. Some say the new transparency laws here in California will create a framework for other states to follow. In Oakland, Ansar Hassan for BNC.